Hey, Sasha. It's been a while, huh? Oh, you guys are back already. I hardly even noticed you were gone. Did you have a nice trip? Yes, it was lovely. Um, you wouldn't happen to know where Armin is, would you? Huh? He didn't come to see you? To be fair, we are home a bit early, so the news might not have reached him yet. Have you seen him around? Um, yeah, he was in here a couple weeks ago borrowing the kitchen to make some muffins for his grandfather. I haven't seen him since. Did you check his house? Indeed, we did. There was no answer. Well, I think his parents were planning a business trip soon. I'm not sure if they took him with them, though. Oh, God. What? What's wrong? Um, when he and I last saw each other, he was going into the forest, alone, at dusk. You don't think... Could something have happened to him? I... I really don't know. I would like to think that... If his grandson was missing that long, his grandfather would surely have come to town to look for him. But I don't know. Something might have happened to the two of them. Well, if something did happen, we aren't doing any good by sitting on our asses and wondering about it. I say we go looking for him. Yeah, I agree with Mikasa. That's a good idea. Sasha, would you like to come with us? Absolutely. Would you like me to bring my bow and arrow in case we have a run-in with a wolf? Definitely. That would certainly be a wise decision. It's still wolf season, after all. If something happened to Armin, odds are something could happen to us. We'll need all the protection we can get. All right. Let's do this, then. Puppy, I'm home. Oh! Goodness! You're rather affectionate today, aren't you? No, no, I don't mind at all. It's... very nice. Coming home to a nice, tight hug. I really like it. No. My parents are still out of town. But I decided to leave them a note this time, since... I really can't keep going back there, especially when I don't know when they're getting back. I left them a note saying that if they come home and I'm not there, they should go to my grandfather's house. I talked it over with him, of course, and he said that when they arrive, he'll show them to our new home. I know, I know. It's definitely difficult having to wait to tell them about this, but unfortunately that's what we have to do. What's wrong? No, no. Don't say it's nothing. Your ears are folded back, and your tail stopped wagging. I know something's bothering you. Here, why don't you sit down? I'll get some tea going for us, all right? And you can tell me what's wrong. If you're comfortable talking about it, that is. Don't say such things! You're not bothering me at all. I want to know what you're going through. That's what a healthy relationship is. Being able to talk to someone else and listen to someone else and... Both people being able to support each other. That's what a healthy relationship is. I'll listen to you, as long as you're comfortable talking about it. And no matter what you're going through, I'll be by your side. I promise. You're feeling insecure? How so? Ah, uh, 
That's... certainly understandable in this situation. You're worried that... my parents won't accept you. I understand why you feel that way. To be honest, I was rather afraid to meet your family since, well, I've always viewed myself as rather weak, and I was afraid that because I wasn't strong and because I wasn't like you, they would refuse to accept me as your mate. But then I met them and they were so kind. They trusted your decision. Because they love you and they respect you. My parents, they love me and respect me too. They are very open-minded and they've always told me that as long as I'm happy in my relationship and it's legal, they'll accept me for whomever I love. They'll accept you, I promise. Of course. They won't care if you have wolf-like features. Do you know why? Because it's not what's on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside. As long as they see that you truly love me for who I am, they'll support our relationship. I swear. Cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. <laughs> I knew that would make you smile. You always smile when I promise things like that. Of course I picked up on it. That's how I swore to you that I would stay with you. That I would become your mate. That was... The best promise I ever made. Truly. I mean it. I'm not just saying it. Just like... When I say I love you. I don't say it because I want to hear it back. I don't say it because you say it. I say it because... There is so much love inside of me, and it's all for you, and I've always expressed myself really well with words, so I figure the best way to express all of this love that I have for you is by reminding you every day, by saying it. Oh, no, no. Please don't cry. I didn't mean to make you cry. I'm so sorry. Come here. It's okay. It's all right. Huh? Why... Why can't I move? Oh! Oh, you... You smell someone? Do you think that... that we're in danger? You're not sure? What do you mean? You smell... food on them? What else? You smell... the remainder of... Blood on something? Do you think there are hunters nearby? Maybe. Do you want me to get your cloak for you so you can cover your ears and tail? All right, just stay here. I'll get it. Don't worry.
I won't let any harm come to you. Here. Do you want me to help you get it on? All right. Let me just adjust your hood a little. Perfect. You look as human as I do. Huh? I... I don't know. If they find out what you are, then... It all depends on what they do. If they try to hurt you, I'll protect you. If they leave you alone, we'll leave them alone, okay? What? If they... If they try to hurt me? I... I doubt that would happen, but... If it did... I'd want you to run. No, no, listen to me. If they try to hurt me, they'll get in trouble. It's against the law for humans to hurt other humans if it isn't in self-defense. But if they hurt you? If people find out what you are and... And they kill you. They'll be seen as heroes. Because people don't understand that what you are doesn't define you. It's who you are. So they'll see you as a monster. If they try to hurt me, I want you to run. So they can't be viewed as heroes. So they can be viewed as the criminals that they are for attempting to harm you. Okay? All right. I'm glad we have an agreement. Do you want me to get the door? All right. Wait here. I promise I'll be back soon. Hello? Oh! Ah, uh, see? I told you we'd find him in the forest. Armin, where have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Yeah, you were scaring the shit out of us. You can't just disappear like that. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I didn't realize that you two were home so early. That's understandable. We didn't inform you of this. But... What are you doing out here? Your grandfather told us when we visited him that he hasn't seen you in a few days. What's going on? Um... I... I have some news to share with you three. If you'd like to come inside. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Do you have any weapons on you? Um, yeah, we do. Just for self-defense, of course, in case we ran into a wolf or some other predator. Do you want us to leave them outside, bring them in, or... I'd prefer if you left them outside, please. Okay. Um, all right, that seems a bit odd, but whatever makes you most comfortable. I didn't bring anything. May I come inside? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Hmm. This place is... tidy. Cozy, too. Yeah. Whose house is this? I thought only your grandfather lived out here. Um, that's... That's not exactly true anymore. Something smells really good. Were you making tea or something? Oh, yeah, I was. Um, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I was making tea for myself and... someone else. Really? Who? 
Um, I don't know if you'll believe me. It's best if I show you while I tell you. Should we be concerned? No, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, puppy? Do you want to come out here for a sec? Oh, um... Hi. I don't believe we've met. My name's Aaron. I'm Mikasa, Aaron's sister. Hi, I'm Sasha. It's nice to meet you. Do you have any food? Uh, Sasha... Look, I'll get you guys something to eat in a sec. First... Puppy? Is it okay if... Would you be comfortable with... Taking your cloak off in front of them? Okay. Go ahead, then. Guys, please... Try to... Stay calm, alright? This is probably going to be a bit of a shock for you. It was for me. But I promise you're not in any danger. Um, that's kind of making me think that we are. Aaron, when has Armin ever lied to us? She's got a point. Exactly. I, I would never lie to you or intentionally put you in harm's way. Just bear with me, okay? This is new territory for all of us. Um, all right. It's okay. You can show them, puppy. Ah! Oh! Well, isn't that interesting? I can't say I've ever seen a creature like you. Are those... Are those wolf ears... Real? They are? Um... I don't mean to be rude, but would it be okay if I touched them just to make sure we aren't being tricked? Thank you. Oh! Oh, it twitched! They are real! That's incredible! Um, Aaron? Are you alright? Get the hell away from my friend. Aaron! I said, get away from him. Aaron, what has gotten into you? Look at them. Look at how shaky Armin is. He's nervous about us meeting them. Can't you see that? No, no, that's not what this is. Look, I need to speak with you in private, okay? Um, all right. I think... This wolf thing kidnapped Armin. What? Why the hell would you throw out an accusation like that? You haven't even given them a chance. Listen, Armin has been missing for weeks. His parents don't even know that he's out here. Otherwise, they would have told someone about it, don't you think? Well, I guess you do have a point with that, but maybe... Maybe they left before he could tell them about this. So what? Do you really think that he's here by his own choosing? Please. He's scared of his own shadow. He's terrified of the dark. Why the hell would he agree to stay in a forest with some wolf-like creature if it wasn't because he was scared for his life? Aaron, maybe we should just hear them out first? I think you two should go. Uh, what? Excuse me? I could hear what you were saying. You think that... that I was forced to stay here? Armin, you have to understand that there are certain things we need to consider before... No! No! You don't have to consider anything. You know what? Do you know why I live here now? 
I live here because this kind, intelligent, loving creature offered to show me the way to my grandfather's house when I got lost in the middle of the woods at night. I was scared, I was all on my own, and I was freezing. They offered to show me the way, and all they asked in return was that I stay with them and become their mate. And I agreed, not because I was afraid, not because... I thought I would die if I didn't, but because they aren't anything like you two. What the hell are you talking about, Aaron? This isn't the first time you've done something like this. The first thing you do is accuse my mate of kidnapping me and forcing me to be here against my will. Has it ever occurred to you that perhaps the reason I left is because I finally found someone who genuinely cares about me and doesn't act like you two? Armin, where is this coming from? It's coming from all of the times that you two heard me but never bothered listening to me. Like now, immediately, Aaron starts making up some wild story in his head, and instead of consulting me about it, he talks to you, because he knows that no matter what I say, you'll listen to him. You'll take his side. You always do. You two... You two led me to believe that I was a burden... Because you always chose him over me, Mikasa, no matter how much sense I was making. And Aaron, you never listen to anyone. No one's opinion matters but yours. So I want you two to go. If you are going to stand there and accuse my mate of kidnapping me and forcing me to be here, I want you to leave. You have always treated me like this. And I've had it. I can... I can stand... myself being treated this way. But you do not get to talk to my mate like that. So I will say it one more time. I think you should leave. I'm so sorry. I... I'm sorry. Aaron. Your turn. I'm not going anywhere. Yes. You are. I don't think so. I said get out! Fine. Whatever. Stay in this forest for the rest of your life. See if we care. I know you won't. That's the point. I... I am so sorry. If I'd known they would react like that, I... I never would have brought them. And, of course, I didn't know that this is what we would find, but... I'm just... I'm sorry, do you want me to go too? No, no, Sasha, it's fine. You've always been so kind to me. I... I appreciate your concern. I understand why you all came looking for me. I only ask you to go because... You're still friends with them. You shouldn't have to lose any friends because of me, okay? So, why don't you go back with them and... Perhaps you can visit us some other time. By yourself. Okay. It was... 
It was really lovely to meet you. I never thought that something like this would happen to someone I know so well, but as long as you really do make Armin happy, I can overlook the confusing and somewhat strange bits of this. All that matters is that you two are safe and happy and loved. Um, I'm just going to go now. Yeah. I'll see you around, Sasha. It's okay. You don't... You don't have to apologize for that. I've been wanting to stand up to them for a while now. Aaron has always treated me like this. He's never really cared about what I had to say. And Mikasa... She's smart. She is strong. She is determined. But if Aaron says anything, if he tries to convince her of something, suddenly she can't think for herself. She just automatically believes him. She doesn't even think to consult me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I just... I think I'm going to start crying, but I promise... I'm fine. I feel very relieved for finally getting that off my chest, but doing so has brought up a lot of emotions, and... I... I think that... I'd just like to go to bed now, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like it if you came too. As long as that won't bother you, of course. It won't. Okay, then. Can we... Can we go to bed and cuddle for a while? Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really glad that I'm with you now. You've given me the strength to do so many things I wasn't able to do before. I'm sorry for everything they said to you. Really, I am. But they won't ever say those things again. If they can't accept that we're happy, and that we love each other, they don't deserve to be a part of our lives. Not now, not ever. Even so, what they say doesn't matter. Because guess what? I love you unconditionally. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. I'll love you forever. My sweet little puppy.